Tonight's review of Dancing with the Stars results show. Wow, what a show. I know. They Not had, really. They had, to, <laughs> they had to squeeze a lot of crap, a lot of filler crap A lot of stuff show. that they threw in last five seconds. I know. And the writers weren't there to help them out. Mm. And it showed. Yes. So, okay. The leaderboard. Leaderboard without the viewer voting. Elio and Julianne in the top spot with 57. 57. Woo! Mel and Maxime in a close second. 56. 56. Cameron and Editha with a 51, respectable. Jenny, Garth. Jenny, who are you talking about? I mean Garth. Garth and Derek. With a 50. Mm -hmm. 50 cent there. And then oh, bring it Mario. <laughs> Marie and Jonathan. Bring it up the rear. And that's a big rear. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> the encore, unless you were high, you had to have picked... Elio and Julian. Duh, because it was amazing, and it was and amazing again. It was amazing again, except why didn't he kiss her? Because it was a joke. She was, was like, no, no, no. Was he like totally, his lip was like totally sweating. She was probably like, you make me sick. You're no, disgusting. it was a joke. Ugh. It, <laughs> that's like the worst. Don't kiss touch, me, big boy. Don't kiss me with that sweat. <laughs> I hate that. All right, so Gloria Estefan got up there and did her little number. Yes, and Espanol. And I usually don't like music that's in another language that I don't know. I do. But I really enjoyed making up my own lyrics, and you... <laughs> it was fun. I you wouldn't try that next time. but I was doing my homework. I know. My homework, so. I know, you're in the Los Conquistadores, yes. so, you know. But I like making up my own. You know, like uh, Black and White Forever. It wasn't that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in the audience, audience watch, celebrity watch. Bruce Jenner. <sighs> Father of Brody Jenner Ugh. and Kim Step Kardashian's mom. Stepfather of mom. Kim Kardashian. Ugh. Ugh. Skank alarm, skank yes. alarm, skank alarm. They Ew. had to like clean out that they place. They are Garth fans. You know what? I hope he wasn't in the audience because he's going to be on next semester. Next semester. <laughs> because I really could not stomach that. He, he would what, have to be the first one off. He did ice skating. And, he's, and he creeped me out every minute of that show. Okay, so... Time for a little comic relief. Maybe. Throw From Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel, Kimmel in there. And Guillermo. Guillermo, yeah. You know, Jimmy Kimmel's funny, See. but I don't really like these segments that yeah. much. Yeah. So, Tom, what's the difference between your job at Dancing with the Stars and America's Funniest People? Home videos. Yeah, but then he said, hey, this is totally an AFP moment. And he put he slipped the tape in, and it was, of course, a crotch shot. What else? Some is kid hitting funny? his dad with a baseball bat. Bat <laughs> oh, in the you weeder. Turn, you <laughs> turn British all of a sudden. In the base, with a baseball bat. In the business. So, yeah. So and yeah. then a clip of Elio and Julianne dancing and Elio getting hit with a baseball bat by a kid in the weener. So what's the difference? I still don't know. I totally missed that joke. Like, I got it, but I'm I was fat. like, oh, yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I didn't think it was that funny. And speaking of not that funny or fun, Fatima Robinson, or is it Fatima? Fatima. <laughs> Fatima. Our Lady of Fatima, honey. Oh. So, <laughs> she got up there with her group, her posse, and I I was all psyched for this because it looked like she was going to be, you know, conducting business up there on the dance floor. I felt like she wasn't giving it her all. Ugh. Like, it was... the choreography was simple, which means simple equals a lot of energy you need. Right. To make it good. It was a sad, scary hip-hop line dance. I could equate it to a bad production of a middle school play. It's harsh. Oof. I feel but bad, it was bad saying it, though, because she's supposed to be, like, the star. I feel bad saying it, too, and I know I'm going to get, like, angry email, like, her with her screen name or something, pretending to be somebody else, saying, Don't you be talking bad about Fatima! I doubt <laughs> she'd be watching this, but anyway. I'm sure Tyra is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, because I know she is. So then they had a little piece on all of the professionals... About and, how they yeah, about, like, their blossomed lives. in their career. So Maxime. He started dancing as a fetus. Pretty much, pretty much. Yeah. They showed everyone's, like, little kid pictures. It was yeah, cute. it was hilarious. Yeah. Julianne. She totally moved out of the house at the age of ten. Ten! And moved in with her to coach London. in London. I don't think I could let go. <laughs> Not to at ten. ten. Come on, ten. maybe twelve, but ten. Oh my god, ten. So, wow. and Len was like, oh yeah, I saw her dancing when she was like eight. 
And he was like, I knew she was going to be a star. <laughs> yeah, okay, then. <laughs> and then editor. Jonathan. Oh, I'm sorry, Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan. I Jonathan, almost overlooked wow. you because you started at age 20. What a he late boomer. He was like an athlete and stuff. And he's like, oh, I never thought I would be a dancer. He was on a skateboard. No, he was athletic. Oh, okay. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So There's no more milk. He started dancing <laughs> when he was 20. And he's like the nice teacher. And he brings out the best. He's like partners. one of my favorites because he's gentleman I Jonathan. Jonathan. I love Jonathan. Almost as much as Dave from Beauty and the Geek. So, Edita up next with cheap red lipstick on. Yes. Lovely. <laughs> she was such a cutie. She also started at the age of 10. Yes. But she didn't move to London. I don't think she started dancing at the age of 10. She started ballroom, ballroom. at right. the age of 10. Okay. And then Derek, bad boy Derek. I hate dance. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm moving out. How come she gets to move out? Okay, so Gloria Estefan up again with her conga song. Yes. Did anybody notice the background singer? <laughs> the back... What do they call that? Is that right? Background? Yeah, back background. Up. Back, back up. up singer. Okay. She was totally wearing, like, a skating outfit. And she had yeah. her reverse tiara. That she wears on. all the time. Is that... Was she born with that this thing? This is not... Whatever. Zelda. I don't know... Whatever they were. The medieval times. <laughs> not medieval times. You're not in the Olympics, honey. Get the skating outfit on. Yeah, Olympics with a medieval times routine. Yeah. Because it had like a corset, like one of those fabric ones though, that's like not structured. Ugh. Ugh. It was Stop. all You're wrong. It was me. wrong. I need therapy. But anyway. <laughs> then, uh, the dance that they did with that number. Crazy ass It was cha -cha. friggin' hot. I've never seen a hotter dance on the show. It was like... Uh, Julianne, Maxime, Kim, Mark, and, and Mark, Kim. yeah. Lovely. Mm -hmm. It's hot. I, and I hope that's Kim's real hair, because that cut is totally hot on her. Unlike mine, that's like sticking out like... Please. Like I fell asleep <laughs> on it or something. Okay, so now a little video <laughs> package with Tony Robbins and Dr. Mi Dr. Michael Beckwith. Dykter. Oh, Dykter. <laughs> so, yeah. It was like an analyze this segment, you know? I kind of wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention because all I could think about was Tony Robbins sounding like Shall Buffalo help. Bob. He was totally sounding like Buffalo Bob in Joe Dirt. It, it puts, puts the, the lotion, lotion on, on the skin. skin. Ugh, yes. creepy. But I could only think about Shallow Hell because I love that movie. I love that movie too. But I love any of those uh, Farrelly Brother movies, so yeah. True. Unbottom two this week, kids. Yeah. Unbottom two. Why do they keep two? doing that? I don't know. It's kind of annoying. I want to know who is where. I know. So, Garth and Derek. <laughs> Sorry, and Garth. Cameron and Edita. Right. So I was really rooting for Garth I was to like, go home. Garth, 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 Garth. <laughs> because uh, I just can't take any more Garth. But you could only have so thing. much Garth. Yeah. So Garth survives another week, and Cameron goes home. Great. Okay, so why did De why did uh, Cameron and editor get a video package? I don't know. They've never done that before. I guess because they're running out of filler. Yeah, that writer strike's writer really strike, taking man. its toll. Writer strike. Wow, it really it was okay to watch, but you know what? When they announce the loser, don't let the door hit you. No. <laughs> I want them out of there. <laughs> you know, because it's like, okay, I got stuff to do. I gotta move on. I can't sit here and watch a video package for an hour. I mean, it's nice. It's it's closure. It's yeah. Good. Well, I guess we'll see you next week then, because Garth is back. Semi-finals. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Much, Much love! love. <laughs>